Well, hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Other Lords 2. In the last episode, we have finished our campaign as Vitals, as Alien, so we won't ever get to play as her again, unfortunately. But that's how it goes. Instead of going with the synthets, I pretty much explained it last time too that it's best for story, uh, story-wise, to actually go back and play as Chaos, the Red Ether of Flame. Вспыльчивый герой Хаот сражается с множеством различных врагов, завоевывая богатство и славу, а также преследует новых таинственных противников, неизвестно откуда появившихся в его стране. Well, we'll see who those mysterious invaders are, although I did point it out that it's the Kinets, because the Kinets are like the polar opposites of Chaos. Also, uh, the position over here is kind of a indicative of uh, where we're fighting and against who exactly now i did mention before that there's a very impossible enemy right in the beginning of the chaos campaign i'll do my best to kill it no with normal means but if it's if it becomes really impassable then I'll be forced to probably use cheat codes. It's gonna be very noticeable because it just opens a command line right at the top. Um, also, the neat thing is that their flags have uh, specific names. The Land of Chaos, Land of Movement, Land of Synthesis, land, and the Forest Land. It's interesting how they named themselves like, uh, or rather how they named their lands quite like that. But land of movement for Kinets, hmm, that's an interesting one. Anyway, so we're gonna select hardest le level difficulty as always, and the, let's check the mission. Connor, Chaotsky hero, узнает, что его страна захвачена кинетами. Его задача изгнать врага. Okay, so they started invading our lands. Got it. Well, let's see. Level one, Connor. Приветствую тебя, воительница. Я слышал, что Хелвард собирает дружину для набега. Хочу разделить с ним добычу и славу. Хелвард мертв, как и большинство его воинов. Он еще не успел выступить, когда кинеты напали на его лагерь. Пустоголовые сами пришли сюда? Пусть сожрут меня горные орки, если я не ослышался. Легче поверить в то, что реки повернули вспять и погасло пламя в недрах гор, чем в то, что кинеты вторглись с нашей земли. Но кто же теперь удерживает крепость? Did, so those airheads came over here on their own, or something like that. But it's good enough translation. Not the best, but good enough. Safnir, brat Helvarda, с горсткою целевших бойцов. Пусть поднимает он воинов на битву. Ярость разгорается в моей груди. Страшную цену заплатят пустоголовые за свое вероломство. Ты найдешь Сафнира в крепости, к юго-востоку от арены для поединков. Он будет рад любому, кто не забыл честь и воина. Now this is interesting about the kids because they have a very strong sense of honor, something that I do respect them, uh, respect them for a lot. Now they have some really good exploration music as well. It just sounds kind of like soothing, in a way. Weirdly enough, for a land of destruction and chaos, it sounds soothing, and um, I don't know, but like melodic, I guess. But anyway, let's talk to her again. Я должна охранять западные ворота. Okay, never mind. I'll never talk to you again. I, I might as well just go straight ahead and talk to the guy. He should be somewhere around here. Ah, there he is, Sofnir. Приветствую тебя, Сафнир. Я Конор. 
из огненной долины. Как постигла вас эта напасть? Пустоголовые застали нас врасплох. Беспечно пировал Хелворд со своей дружиной, как вдруг силой враждебной магии сгустились из воздуха мосты через озеро, и прямо к стенам крепости хлынула толпа кенетов, да поглотит их пламя хаоса. Мы смогли отбиться, но дорогой ценой. Mm. Yep. Чего же ты ждешь, Сафнир? В обе стороны открыта дорога по мосту. Обрушимся на пустоголовых внезапно, пока они думают, что мы зализываем раны. Слишком мало осталось нас, да и новые испытания впереди. Магия открыла нам. На крепость идет великий воин. Не вместе, не поодиночке не сможем мы одолеть его. Я послал гонца на юг, но подмога может не успеть. Что ж сидеть сложа руки, выйдем ему навстречу. Не несет урона честь воина, что погиб лицом к сильнейшему врагу. И не меньше песен сложено о последних битвах героев, чем об их победах. Ты отважен, Конор, но не ищи гибели раньше времени. Узнав о грозящей беде, Сиврит Шаманка затворилась в своей хижине. Зайди к ней. Быть может, в пламени ей открылся способ победить Кинета. Укажи дорогу, я отправлюсь к ней. Well, he's uh, mostly asking, tell me uh, the directions to towards her, essentially. Выйди через западные ворота и ступай вдоль берега озера. Так ты дойдешь до хижины Сиврит. And nothing else to chat. Might as well check the fountain. Uh, one hero level two. And that's it so far. So we saw one Kinet hero over there. And I guess we have our, our mission. Go see the shaman. And let's see anything. Oh, there he is. Вот и еще один. Подходи ближе, проклятая отродье. He's level four, so he should be fine. But yeah, hmm, they're attacking the Chaos on this front, while the Synthats seem to be attacking the Vitals. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Good question to ask is why, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, kids are pretty fun to play because they're very destructive, but the beginning levels kind of suck. <laughs> no specialization, the rats are really weak, but we have lots of destructive spells, uh, lightning that deals one damage for one ether, fire wave that deals one damage to all enemy creatures for two ether, uh, and we can beef up the strength of one creature, uh, or rather strength and toughness by one for two ether. And the rats themselves are cheap, so one ether. Now, I might have to do lots of reloads, but we'll see how this goes. When I level up, we definitely, definitely have to pick up resources, because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to beat up the orc shaman. So we'll see how it goes. Now, we never fought a rat before. Also forgot to read his uh, specialization. Rat's tenacity. Every rat summoned by the hero has a chance to regenerate when its toughness drops below one point or if it's destroyed by spell, like this one. And fortunately for me, they all died. <laughs> it didn't work for him. I uh, should be able to kill him, I think, maybe. Or he kills me. Um, I might have to wait for this thing. Let's wait. Uh. 
Like he did the same thing. Well, he can hit me. I'll pretty much overpower you. Um, I can try to kill him and see if it works. Nope, did not. Ah, I should have beefed up my strength instead. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost this battle. <laughs> yep, I lost it. Yeah. No point. But Connor is very interesting in terms of casting magic. When, whenever he summons, he always uh, blows the horn. And uh, other stuff too. Like over here, he blows the horn. And uh, most enchantments and sorcery is accompanied by um, like words. Okay, he got two rats again. Please, please work. Okay, worked like last time. Okay, he decided to uh, sacrifice his rat, if possible. But... Right now, it really sucks for me. Because I might die first. Okay, so far, no. I, I'll be fine. He'll die first instead. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so... Oh, so stressful. <laughs> but I get... Uh, I got my red tenacity, which is... Something I never got before, I think. So I, instead I got his specialization. Thank you, gods. <laughs> oh boy. I hear a bat of wings, and yes, there's a bat over there. Let's kill it if possible. I should be able to anyway. He's level one. Oh yeah, I don't have any any new magic, so we'll stick with this. Connor looks cool, by the way. That's a that's something else that's I really like about his character. He has an awesome design. Now I can't really do much apart from summon a rat, but he'll just kill it. I'll wait. Fantastic that bats cannot regenerate. But uh, he can discard my spells. Crap. One damage to all creatures. Oh, and I died. <laughs> he used this thing. All heroes take three damage for each creature in their graveyards. I had one, he had way more than me. So potentially he could have died from it. Oh boy. Can't do anything. Okay, what I can do... I can wait for his bats to... Uh, his bats guile. Oh, never mind. It disappeared. But I can beef up my rat. He ended up healing himself, which sucks. I can get another rat. Give him also more beef ups, but... Hmm, didn't work for me this time around. Hmm. But yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. As a cat, it's much harder to win these fights than it is for um, anyone else. Okay, so you use lightning. You use this thing. Too ether to kill you. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. Oh boy. 
crap. Should have used those two. But yeah, uh, come on. I know I can do it because I did it last time. He just stole my ether. That bastard. Here, take a lightning. Hope you choke on it. Uh, and I died from this thing. <laughs> Uh, basically, I need a turn where I can get a rat and a beef up for that sad rat. Sure, take this. Can't really do anything about him. He like chooses not to uh, use the bats for defense. So, ugh, impossible to kill at the moment. Finally, my specialization actually worked. Oh, finally, we killed him. All because my rat's tenacity actually chose to work this time around. <laughs> oh boy. Can't wait for the rest of the battles of this level. You know what? Oh. Uh -huh. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, considering that I'm very fearful of uh, any future fights. Ah, oh, poor, oh, poor Connor. He has to deal with me instead. All right, so we got this rat with its own rat's tenacity. Well, we'll see who's more tenacious, you or me. Okay, be gone. Shoo. Didn't work. Well, my specialization worked like this once. Please die. Damn. Okay, I'll have to reload. I can already tell. But no worries, no worries. We're gonna we're gonna get you eventually. Alrighty, let's try this. Worked. Fantastic. Okay, worked on mine too. Me thinks. Okay, that did not work. Okay, please do not use shite. Well, I'm done for. <laughs> uh, whenever he's red, use this regeneration, I'm done for, essentially. Oops, I shook my microphone without meaning to. Okay. Well, isn't that fantastic? You beef up your rat right in the beginning of the game. Oh, please work. Worked. Good. Now that did not work. Well, he just used my strategy against me. Interestingly enough. Okay, please work. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Mm. I love the music, but it's not making me feel better about the fight. Yeah, the chaos beginning map is like the most unbalanced. Uh, right before you hit the um, uh, like once you get to the shaman, somewhere around there. It gets better, much better. But before that, it's just awful. Like, just plain awful. Yeah. 
Yikes. Okay, got rid of you. Got rid of you. Fantastic. Okay, I can beef you up a lot. The lightning, the ether disturbance might start striking. Which will suck if it does, but fortunately for me it hasn't. Oh. Die, damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you, rat. Oh, resources. Good, good, good. <laughs> I immediately got it. I should save. I hear bats. I should definitely kill it. I'll kill all the denizens of this local area. Where is it? I hear it. Ah, there you are, little buddy. You and your bats' guile. Oh boy. Well, I leveled up, but I don't have any new magic. Which means I'll, I'll be dealing with him the old fashioned way. Can't really do anything. Oh boy. Now I can do something, but I'll lose ra my rat. Aha, uh -huh, you summon your buddy over there. Oh, thank god it did not work. Be gone. Ooh, <laughs> stressful. Okay, use lightning. You killed one of my rats, but that's fine because I can just keep beefing up this one and I'll win anyway. <laughs> right, okay. Ooh, fantastic. Nothing to loot. That's fine. We'll work out something, <laughs> I hope. Oh, there's a shaman. What a hijina shaman. Приветствую тебя, мудрая Сиврит. В языках пламени открыто тебе прошлое и грядущее. Не узнала ли ты, как одолеть могучего пустоголового? Ни мне, ни тебе это не под силу. Но не все потеряно. Что создано магией, может быть разрушено хаосом. Возьми этот молот разрушитель в пламени хаоса закаленный. Им ты уничтожишь мосты кинетов. А если молодой волк не только смел, но и ловок, он оставит кинета на острове, окруженного водой. Научи же молодого волка, как сделать это. Обходным путем, что лежит через земли пустоголовых, подойдешь ты к мостам. Ступай на запад, и по косе далеко выдающейся в озеро доберешься ты до острова. Там ты найдешь телепорт, ведущий в их земли. I wonder if it's supposed to say split instead. Hmm. But yeah, so just essentially just follow the road. <laughs> That's the simple. Я же передам Сафниру чтобы он выслал кого-нибудь из своих героев задержать могучего кинета на острове. Yeah, essentially just follow the road, really. It's it's a really near level. It's very hard to get lost in here. Okay, so maybe I lied. Only one last enemy left to fight. That that will be the bane of my misery and existence. This guy, the orc shaman with orc thievery. Oh boy, I hate you. I hate his guts. I hate everything about him. Afterwards, it gets much easier. Believe me. Oh. I hope I'll manage to, but something tells me I'll probably effing die. <laughs> and we'll have to use a freaking cheat code to actually survive. Oh boy. He can cancel all my charms too, so... I better kill him as soon as he summons one. And unfortunately for me, it means immediately. Ah. Uh. Can I have to do it this way? Waste your time on me, please. I implore you. 
Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm failed. I failed. This thing makes it very tough and he hit me for everything I owe. Yeah. He summons like three of them if I remember. And he can beef up the attack too. So you gotta watch out for three orc shamans. Not two, not one, but three. And gotta make sure we kill one immediately as it pops in. Thankfully for me, I got lots of destruction magic over here. Now, unfortunately for me, um, I cannot cast any waves yet. And he uh, really, really made it difficult for me at the moment. I'm gonna waste, make him waste his time. Hopefully. Oh, no. He just killed it. No. <laughs> uh, no, he summoned another one. No. <laughs> I hate you. So he has four of them. Oh, no. How in the world am I supposed to kill you? If all you can do is... Cancel out my charms as I come by. Like seriously, how are you supposed to kill him? Oh thanks, he just returned the favor. And I can't do anything, I just have the big beef ups and he just kills me. Bah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use cheat codes apparently. Oh, I don't like this at all. Give me a moment. I need to actually look it up. One sec. All right. So I did look it up. So first, gotta initiate the battle. And by the way, uh, I actually yeah. Thanks, thanks, bro. Um, I did look up a guide on how to kill the orc shaman. And you know what? A lot of them say they pretty much cheated <laughs> with this guy on hard difficulty because he's just impossible to kill. So this is uh, unfortunately the unfortunate turn of the the unfortunate turn of a uh, turn of events. Although he's very easy to, or rather easier to kill um, in the version 1.04, there's a different enemies though that become harder to kill. But yeah. Anyway, so if you are stuck like me, you can press the tilde key, I think it's called, and let me see. Ether revelation to enable it. And then I believe it's just this or not. Let me see. Let me try something again. Maybe they have to be capitalized. So either revelation. I swear I spelled it correctly. There you go. I had to uh, do caps, apparently. Well, not all caps, but capitalize the two words to separate them. And you get Orc Shaman and Burning Graves. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so frustrating. I don't feel great about the starting... Uh, those starting four battles for Chaos. They suck majorly. Like, really badly. It would- it, it does get better from here, though. I'm not really sure why they didn't- Interesting. Well, we'll start fighting some of the few ones, but I just don't understand how in the world it was- it came out like that. Like, why wasn't it balanced out better? <laughs> Especially with the spells that he uh, has and stuff like that. I just don't under I just don't understand that part. But anyway, after dealing with that frustration, it, be it does become easier. Because now we have our own Orc Shaman. And we do have this thing, the Burning Graves. 
So uh, we take three damage for each creature in the graveyard. Uh, he might take a lot more damage because you'll see. This is a kinet creature called River Halo. Um, it has a, its own specialization, the Halo's Twins. The hero has a chance to summon two Halos with one summon spell. So let's see. So he's kind of like the Vela Summoner, but as you can see, they don't have any attack. They can, however, steal Aether, uh, and I can, however, just kill it on my own, like, like so. So he'll just keep summoning Halos for me. Well, that's fine. I'll be able to use this thing pretty much next time and he should die. I just need four ether and last until then. Thanks, I want to get my shaman out. Also, you can take a hit. There you go, he died. And this is a favorite Kinet spell, the unsummoning one. It unsummons creatures uh, that... Um, I forget, that are either lesser or something, something. That one is a sorcery. Ah, there it is. Uh, return target creature with casting cost three or less from play to controller's hand. It's one of their favorite beginning spells. That's one of the spells you get to use when you play as a kinet uh, on your first campaign mission. Oh boy, well, let's continue our journey. God damn, I still feel so bad for uh, for using the cheat to get through the orc shaman. It's just that I don't understand. Еще один варвар, от которого разит пивом. Не иначе запах твое главное оружие, воин. Ouch! You just you just tried to burn a uh, Connor. Also, interesting specialization, Aviax Cunning. Uh, I think we've seen it when we played as Alien. Oh, and she she attacks us on on her own. Okay, well, let's go, I guess. And we get to see another Kinet hero get up and uh, heroes. Ah, nothing free for me yet. Well, no matter. I'll summon a lot of rats to help. Creature deal no damage. Uh, deal no combat damage this turn. The spell can be cast during the block phase. And she got her obvious assassin over there. He does absolutely nothing except be a, an assassin. And he can only be blocked by walls. Unfortunately. But... Uh, we should be able to kill her in no time at all. She's getting bitten off by rats, pretty much. Ah, now that one. I remember this one. The one who likes to shoot his guns all the time. Uh, be gone. Uh, I'll give this one to this rat. We'll attack. And the next time I'll be able to cast this thing. And she'll die. I just noticed there's a destroyed mining line. <laughs> That's uh, very interesting. Uh, I thought she might cast that. Right, so, um, bye. Okay. Well, we got through her all right. We got the Winds of Flame. Pay X Aether, deal X damage to all creatures with flying abilities. Oh boy, so that's one uh, Kinet hero down. We're right somewhere in their settlement over here. I should save, definitely. But yeah, I forgot what I, what sentence I was finishing about um, about the orc, but yeah, it's just overall frustrating fight. Now there's a special statue over here, Aviax's sacred place. 
This place is some kind of Aviak shrine. Every Aviak will fight with Frenzy near this place. Which is interesting, but we had two ways to go, this way or that way. Um, you know what? I think I might go this way first, because we are away from that shrine, maybe. Yeah, we are. Good for us. This thing is gonna come in handy, because that other spell can be a little costly at times. So that's what I'll do. Um, I'll do this way, actually. Let's fight you, Mr. Aviak. Same cunning, he'll be able to deal double damage. Um, maybe. Oh, and another favorite spell! For each creature assigned to attack, the owner must pay one ether. How ominous. He, he just cast another one. He's just a, a, like an ether waster of sorts. And I can't attack because I don't have enough ether to pay for this rat. Apparently I need to pay two ether now. Just to attack the Saviak. Well, no matter. I'll kill you this way for now. Now this one is the lesser Aviak. He does have... oh. Well, that's not good. I just discarded all my spells. Although it says all heroes discard all spells, so... yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. But anyway... Sucks for me. I can't really do anything. He'll occasionally be able to deal double damage, but for now I'm fine. Or I would have been. died. Yeah, my bad. I should have summoned the shaman earlier to cancel the spell. Oh well. It is what it is. But thank god his sacred shrine of Aviax doesn't work over here. There we go. Have fun. Oh, that's not gonna do much. But he doesn't have his uh, so uh, enchantments yet. So I'll be fine. Actually, yes, I'll be fine. Hmm. Take that. Goodbye. He just enhanced his strength by one, but it doesn't. It doesn't enhance any toughness. So I am fine. Ah, he got his enchantment, but I should be fine. I hope. Yep, I'll be fine. And he'll die. Okay, we got through him all right. Let's see, anything else? Not yet. Apart from a whole lot of ice and snow. Oh, well, never mind. We found this guy. The woo the woohoo spirit. <laughs> I mean, seriously, every time they do uh, their magic casting, it always sounds like woohoo, like he's going to a party or something. Although with less enthusiasm. Okay, he has iron skin. My favorite type of enemy. They're not flyers. So I'll have to revert back to, to that thing over there. But they're weak. Okay, let's get my shaman. Well, isn't that fantastic? He just discarded our summons, I think. That's what the hand meant. 
And he removed my enchantment. Interesting. How lovely. Well, uh, too bad for you, he's dead. His regeneration is just too costly. It takes three to regenerate. So it really sucks for him. This thing, all enemy creatures enter play rested. Got it. And he died. Yay, we got through this. Fantastic. More of that spell and we uh, changed our look. We became more beautiful. <laughs> but I don't see too many specializations I want to have. Maybe except channeling. And that's about it. Now, I believe this is where... Yeah, this is where I should stop. Also, I see you over there. Helvisa, the wind's wrath. Any wall of air under here's control has a chance to destroy a blocked uh, creature with flying ability at the end of the combat phase. So yeah. Do we get another Kinet hero over there? Or rather, heroine. Not to be confused with the drug, by the way. Um, now, I'm gonna go through the side before I proceed further. And uh, there's a kind of a good reason for that. You'll see why in a second. Oh, I forgot to change my magic. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is. Ooh, I didn't account for that. Well, no matter, you'll die. Oh, fantastic! I can do this one more... Maybe not one more time. No, my magic! No! And this thing enhances their power. Plus two! Wow. So he's like really powerful right now. And unfortunately for me, I'm kind of dead. So uh, I'll have to redo this. Also, my bad, because I got the wrong spells. This thing might come in handy, at least, like... At least, at least this much. And I might as well have another one of those. Why not? He likes to discard magic, so... That will help me out. Okay, time to start slowly killing you. Uh, hmm, not enough for me, unfortunately. Can I have to wait it out? Oh no, he really beefed up. Ay ay ay, I'm gonna have to go with everyone and hope I'll survive. He just got rid of all my magic. Oh, right, he's restless too. Damn, I uh, didn't think about that. My bad. Oh, okay. Definitely need a shaman for this. And he definitely needs to be somewhere in the beginning, preferably. Oh boy. Well, I cannot do much except this. God damn, you really hate me. When I say I need a shaman, I mean I literally need a shaman. Not whatever this is. Got unlucky. Take three damage for me, why don't you? <sighs> Come on. Finally. There. Take a hike. Ooh. 
It worked. This time around, it worked nicely. And I got seven ether, and he has seven ether. Fantastic. Uh, and he can't really do much about it either. And there's my shaman. When uh, I don't really need him anymore. <laughs> He's too late. You're too late to the party. Jesus. Oh boy. Well, what's over here? I'm hearing. Oh, well, you could have been useful uh, way ahead of, way in the beginning. Well, you're still going to be useful actually. So this is Oh, wait, I forgot to read it. <laughs> My bad. Um hmm. Also, there's a teleporter. Um, lightning generator. This is lightning ge uh, this is lightning generator made by the ancient chaos hero. Being switched on, it can send electricity clouds to aid you in combat. You will receive zap spell each second combat turn and call lightning e uh, spell each third. So it's really useful, very handy. Uh, unfortunately, I did get it a little later, so we'll see how useful it's gonna be. Ah, well, it will be very useful, actually. There's a gibberling to fight. Oh, wait, my bad. Uh, mm -mm -mm, this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Gibberling, let's fight. You'll do uh, your lovely thing, I'll do my lovely thing. Which which is called killing lots of you. I think I'll, I might be able... Oops, I uh, shot at myself. <laughs> I think uh, he might die. Uh, if I cast this, I'm curious. Okay, he, uh, sure, let's try. Yeah, he died. Okay, well, that worked. The shortest battle ever. <laughs> uh, that was fun. See, it's not so bad anymore. It's just the chaos ones. They were bad. Oh, I got stones as wrath, but I don't have any stones to uh, cast. No, st no walls of stone, so... Yeah... Oh, there's another Aviak over here. Isn't that lovely? ay 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 Okay, we'll start with the rats. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, assassin. I was I was about to say he kind of looks like a thief, <laughs> but I guess he's more of an assassin type. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he just returns that one. Not so bad. I'll get my shaman. I'll get my rat back. All fine. Right, he'll die the next turn, pretty much. Oh boy. We're getting there slowly, bit by bit. More burning graves! Why do you want to burn so many graves, Connor? Hmm? Please, tell me why. Also, is this thing... Oh, it doesn't have a timer. Well, good. Also, notice, there's uh, that lady again. We just basically made a circle. Uh, so it's a good idea to go around to uh, get as much experience as possible. And now we can actually approach her, and I believe I might have good enough magic spells, maybe. I'll probably get an extra of this. Actually, both. There you go, I'm happy. Следи за мостом, будь на чеку. В случае опасности беги за подмогой. Well, 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 he's the level 8 guy. 
We, we have no one strong enough for him, so he must be the hero that uh, we have to trap. Вот теперь я не должен медлить. And she see, and she just happens to be our level two. <laughs> but yeah, another Kinet hero to fight. Well, I'm sorry to do this, lady, but uh, I'm gonna kill your uh, wall there. It's just flying; it cannot attack unless uh, you give her strength. Then she can kill creatures like any other, well, unit, fighting unit. I must say, Kinet heroes look pretty cool too, actually. She must be insulted by my rat over there. <laughs> no, not you. And also, she just unsummoned my, uh, my rat back into my hand. Oh, she really hates my rat. Well, no matter. I'll uh, unsummon you. I'll summon you and I'll summon you. If I get one of those, I'll be able to kill that one too. As of right now, I can just um, do normal stuff. Oh, never mind. And let's use this. She took a lot of hit. Oh, and she summoned the ultimate uh, wall of air, which is expensive. But you know what works for me for now? I'll be fine. Here, take another lightning. They kind of look like sirens, I'll be honest with you. Also, the sound all of a sudden just got very quiet. Like, super quiet. Now, I might as well just cancel this. I sacrificed my three channel, but that is fine. Yeah, I know how you like the fact that all creatures have to enter play rested, but that doesn't really make much of a difference to me, personally. Okay, I can attack with everyone and I should be fine. Well, she just casted the lovely fog. And that's a new Kinet spell. Target creature deals itself damage equal to its power. It's pretty handy, but it's expensive. Like, really expensive. Might as well cancel that thing. Why not? Can't really do anything. Ah, there you go. Another fog. I'll keep sacrificing my ether channels. She'll uh, defend against my rat with her siren. I call her a siren. Gosh, she loves that spell. It's like her favorite thing on earth. Here, take another lightning. And I took an Aether Disturbance spell instead. How lovely, isn't it? She summoned another strong one. She might die the next turn. Perhaps. Okay, now, uh, never mind. She's gonna die now. <laughs> Yay! We got her. Oh boy, might as well take Artificer, though, to be honest, I don't remember that Chaos having that many artifacts. But sure, why not? Never hurts to have it. Alright, so now we're in the process of... Ah! Making sure... No, that's not what 
that's the lady in the beginning! She was the guard of the... at the gate! No, she's gonna die! No! She kinda looks like she's trying to negotiate with him, but no, it failed. And now we trap the Kinnat guy. Ты выиграл этот бой, но не войну. Ваша судьба предрешена. Ah, we'll see about that, Reginald. <laughs> Very pompous name, my, uh, might I say. Oh boy. <laughs> Another halo over here. Level one. Oh. Well, isn't that cute? I still have my lightning, by the way. We'll see how well you you'll fare. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! He really hated my orc! Well, no matter, I'll just beef up my rat instead. And uh, get lots of lightning damage on him. And one beef up. And there you go, he's dead. <laughs> the fastest battle ever. <laughs> they can actually be tough, it's just that this specific form isn't really the strongest. Also, Connor, while you're at it, why not destroy this bridge and that bridge? It will really um, stop the Kinnets for a long time. <laughs> Hey, it's you! Ты спас нашу крепость, враг в ловушке. Сафнир желает отблагодарить тебя. That's the guard of the other side, the one who got attacked by the Kinet. Ah, interesting. Anyway, we heard a shop nearby, so we definitely have to go there. Ah, there it is. Uh, I can approach you from the other side too, methinks, perhaps. Oh, nothing over here. Hmm. Uh, is there anything to pick up? No, you have like three dead Kinnet heroes and there's absolutely nothing to take. That sucks. Well, let's see what he has to s for sale. Ooh, that one is good. We also have this thing over here. Polymorph. Destroy a target creature. Caster's life becomes equal to the sum of power and toughness of destroyed creature. Target creature cannot use regeneration ability to prevent this. The spell can be cast during block phase. Um, do I cast this only on my creatures or can I cast this on enemy creatures? That's my question. Now this thing is good because it increases, excuse me, toughness of all creatures by one. And it's cheap too. Cheaper than this thing, really. Um, now, then there's this thing. Recycling. Sacrifice creature, pay one ether, deal X damage to target creature or hero, where X is a sacrifice creature's power. That might be useful if I want to get rid of someone or something. All friendly creatures gain for strike. That might be useful. Sacrifice creature, remove target enchantment. Now that might be beneficial. I'll take two of those. Uh, in fact, I want to take two of each, pretty much. There's also this thing. Draw one spell for each own destroyed creature. I'm gonna take one of that. Uh, let's see this one. Ah, finally, better spells. More rats, more stones, actually. Might as well take a... Uh, these ones are really cheap, so I can take like two of each or something. We got the uh, all forms of rats, so we're gonna become the rat king at this point. <laughs> uh, we have the disease rat, the plague rat, and the doom rat. And this is just the stink rat. <laughs> uh, levels of uh, danger rats. From... Normal to white to blue and red, violet, purple rat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> different degrees of uh, rat sickness, I guess. 
Uh, I should take definitely one of you. I might run out of some spells, me think. Yeah, I'm definitely expending lots of resources for this. I'm gonna take two of those stone walls because they're a little on the weaker side, I'll be honest with you. Mm. Mm. This rat... This one is four, this one is six. And one orc shaman over there. Can I... Okay, I cannot sell you that. That sucks. Can I sell you this? Well, I can. It's just not gonna give me anything in return. I'll get an extra orc shaman. Why not? That's about it over there. And I'll go back here. Hmm. I can get one of that and one of that. I barely use that thing over there. So I should be good or good with those spells all right i'm set i think i didn't take as many rats but it should be fine more or less although i could potentially take another of those but to be honest no, i don't see the point i have a shaman he's just as good as that rat over there all right so sofnir let's talk <laughs> Теперь у нас есть время, чтобы усилить оборону и дождаться подкрепления. Вот, возьми эти могучие заклинания в награду за свою отвагу. Let's see, what you got, what you give me? Oh, those are really good, thank you very much. That one destroys any target creature, as long as they don't have regeneration, that is. This one just disregards regeneration, it just removes them, doesn't kill them. And then we have this thing that uh, at uh, X Ether, uh, well, in addition to the base casting cost, pay X, it destroys all creatures on all sides. Uh, each hero receives damage equal to the total power of all destroyed enemies' creatures. So he gets damaged by my creatures and I get damaged by his creatures. That's how it works. Похвала собратьев радует сердце воина, Сафнир. Но и твой подарок пригодится мне. Теперь ты можешь продолжить свои странствия. Мы хаоты, вольные войны. Но не будет лишним, если ты посетишь священный класс хаоса. Вернувшийся гонец рассказал, что в его окрестностях пропадают паломники. Кто-то должен разобраться с этим. Hmm, sounds like a mission for me. Well, why not? I'll do that. And we can pretty much head out. I don't think there's any creature for us to kill. I think we pretty much got rid of everything and everyone. Oh, I still feel sad that she's gone. Hmm. Anyway. Итак, я победил в этом сражении. Продолжить ли мне свой путь или остаться исследовать окрестности? Yep, let's go. And we get our victory screen. Even though there's a Kinet warrior on that screen, doesn't make sense, but okay. The Chaos Eye is over here, the Eye of Chaos, my bad, and we pass by the Western Castle over here. Now, let's listen to the mission statement. На святыню хаотов глаз хаоса покушаются герои других рас. Конор спешит, чтобы спасти ее от осквернения. Okay, so that's our mission. По пути я встретил посланца великого шамана. В пламени ему открылось, что враждебные герои, как голодные волки, рыщут вокруг глаза хаоса. Я должен защитить святыню. Окей, okay, so good to know. We got some explanation, at least a little more guidance on that. Yes, there is a real threat over there. And look over there who it is. Диаманда. Что за странная воительница? Одно в ней от синтетов, другое от кинетов. Вид ее напоминает мне легенды о Диаманде, что рассказывали старухи. 
Поистине древние предания оживают в эти смутные дни. Она направляется к глазу хаоса. Пламя не обмануло шамана. Я должен торопиться. So yes, she is uh, very central to the story. As you can tell that she appears both over here, but also on the Vitalis' side. She's pursuing their uh, KSI, but she's also pursuing the uh, Spring of Life, or whatever it was called, I forget. Uh, yeah, Spring of Life. So we must stop her too in this case, and uh, I could kind of, well, you can already kind of guess how it's gonna go, but it's not gonna be too, too big of a deal. Based, well, based on what happened with Vitals, I don't think it should be big of a deal for Chaos, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna have to continue playing this game in the next episode. I am still feeling salty about the orc shaman over there. I still hate him to the core of my being. Like, seriously. Ugh. Like, I don't know, who tested that level? Or was it rolled out like, like, I mentioned before that the Vitals seem to be the best level to start with if you want to, you know, first play the game. And I wasn't joking, it seems to be the well, well, mo better polished in terms of balancing um, than the other levels are, as far as I remember. With the Chaos, like the first map, oof, if you play on hard difficulty level, it's just like impossible to kill the shaman. You can kill him on easy or maybe medium, but I didn't really want to degrade the game difficulty because of that shaman, I'll be honest with you. I kind of, I, I knew it might happen, but yeah, I just wanted to test it out, how well it's gonna work, and yeah, I did not. So, there we have it. Anyway, guys, again, that happened. Let bygones be bygones. And anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.